Welcome back to another RMS Support Center tutorial video. Today's topic will cover how to create a QC daily report. In order to get started, we're going to enter into our contract. On the contract menu, we're going to click on the tab that says QC and enter into the module QC daily reports. On this view, we see a list of all QC daily reports for this contract. In order to add a QC daily report, click the add button in the left hand corner. Now select the current date and click OK. The QC report is composed of nine areas. These nine areas are these nine blue tiles here. The very first blue tile that we have is the weather tile. Here we can enter in any information regarding the weather for this particular date. At the top we can set the QC weather by selecting the drop down box and selecting the appropriate weather. We also have two sections down below for the temperature with the minimum and maximum temperature and we also have a section for the rain and wind speed. Our next section is the QC narrative section. Here we can add QC narratives. Now it is recommended for this section to use the copy narratives from previous report option after the very first QC report is created. So here we could select our QC narratives. We can select all the narratives by clicking this check box here, or we could select multiple narratives by selecting the narratives that we want. Then we can click OK to add the QC narratives for our QC daily report. QC and QA deficiencies. In this section, we can add QC deficiencies, or we can also correct deficiencies by using the checkbox corrected and marking whatever deficiency that we have that is appropriate has corrected. QC requirements. On this section, we can add QC tests, user schools, installed property, and transfer property, or we can also mark these sections as completed. You can also set the status of QC tests by clicking at the blue tile to filter out by only seeing the QC tests. Here we have another column that says status. We can change the status by double clicking on it and then selecting the drop down box and selecting the appropriate status. The next section that we have is our preparatory and initial inspection section. Here. We can select the preparatory and initial inspection of our feature of work by selecting the feature of work and clicking the edit button. Next, we can enter in our dates by using the date picker and we can also enter in the time for both the preparatory and initial inspection. The activity started and finished section is used to input the start and finish date for the activities within the contract. The next section that we have is the contractor's on-site section. Here we can set the first day and last day for each subcontractor that we have. Labor and equipment hours. On this first tab we have our labor hours. We can add our labor hours by clicking the add button. We can manually add our labor hours or we can copy from the previous day just like the QC narratives. To add equipment hours simply click on the equipment hours tab then click on the add button. Then select either to manually add or copy from the previous day the equipment hours for this QC daily report. Our final section for our QC daily report is our mishap reporting. We can add mishap reporting in this section. We can add any mishaps that occur which is anything that is unplanned or an undesired event that occurs during the course of work such as accidents, incidences, and near misses. Now finally after you've entered in all the data in these nine sections and you're ready to complete your report simply click on the checkbox down at the bottom. Now please note that once when you've completed a report you cannot make changes afterwards so verify that all data is correct then click yes.